So, as I said, I was on Benton's channel yesterday. Much love, Benton. And we discussed a, a hot topic. Well, the topic of us simping, you know, to simp. Now, some people, especially maybe some of you older uh, listeners, you might not be familiar with the term simping, what it means. But uh, a lot of you guys understand what it means. Simping kind of means when you're like, you know, a guy who's like the nice guy. But even more than the nice guy, you're like kind of like the sucker. You're the guy that kind of goes out of your way for women. You kind of put the pussy on the pedestal and uh, that kind of guy. That's a simp. You guys got to understand what I'm talking about. And Z keeps telling you, simping doesn't work out for you. The women is the, the woman benefits, not in the long run. It's actually detrimental to her, too. So really nobody benefits when men simp. And I've conjectured that uh, simping has now reached ep epidemic levels. It's epidemic in our society. The simping. And it's a problem. So we're going to do, uh, we're going to go into it a little bit. Maybe I'm going to learn you a little something here this morning. Maybe Z's going to kind of enlighten some of you people. Because, like Benton said, you must kill the inner simp. And I endeavor to do so each and every day. So, in an effort to kill the inner simp, we're going to start off here by um, discussing the origins of simping. Where did it come from? Yeah, Moose is here. Moose, Moose knows simping is a problem. And I'm going to help men and women all around the level horizontal realm to stop simping. All right. See, Christy Lee Dolls is, see, Christy Lee Dolls is pro simping, but of course you're pro simping Christy Lee. I've told you this over and over again. You're pro simping because you benefit from simping, but here's the thing, Christy, you only benefit here in the short term In the long term simping is probably going to be a problem for you. And I'm going to explain why as we discuss the segment, which Z is calling the origins of simping. Yes, everybody, the origins of simping. Let's get into it. We are going to be reviewing a 1950s edu educational video called What to Do on a Date. That's right, guys. In 1950, they came out with this educational programming that they likely played in like high schools all across the country titled what to do on a date so z's gonna go through this educational video with you and we're gonna figure out the origins of simping where it came from and why it's bad okay all right now you guys know now let's get into it everybody what to do on a tape. Pay attention. Pay attention. Let's go. What to do on a date. That's what it says. <laughs> This is a story about what to do on a date. It begins one early summer afternoon. It begins with Jeff and Kay. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Kay. And Nick. Oh, Nick. Nick's the simp, by the way. It's just so you guys know. Nick's the simp. Nick might as well be me, everybody. Look at him waving and stuff. Let's continue. And Kay, well, we know Kay. We know, we know, Kay. Look at, look at, look, Kay. They have her in a dress. Oh, it's 1950. She's wearing a dress. She's going grocery shopping for her family. You know, they're in high school. She's a good girl. Yeah, they're all good girls, like you, Christy Lee. Oh yeah, you're laughing. Christy Lee plays the good girl role. Oh, look at me. I'm just a good girl, sweet, sweet. Here's my dress. Right. Let's continue. Poor Nick. A 
Of course, you may not have a problem about what to do on a date, but Nick, well, he has a real dating problem. Nick, that makes two of us. I have a real dating problem myself, Nick, but I'm working through it. They did this to us, gentlemen. This is the origins of simping. Uh, Tavistock, anybody? Social engineering, anybody? I don't know. Let's continue. If he took Kay out on a date, what would they do? Where would they go? Just a minute, Jeff. I'll get my tennis racket. Okay, Nick, but hurry. Now let's look at Jeff. Jeff's like, Jeff is not a simp. Jeff's actually like kind of a predator. Um, troubling true. Anyway, uh, just watch Jeff in this whole thing because guys, they're gonna like make you think Jeff is Nick's friend. He's not his friend. Jeff's the problem because he knows Nick's a simp. Poor Nick, and he's gonna play into this whole thing, and he's gonna encourage Nick to simp. Let's continue. Hey, what about asking Kay to come to the community center with us on Friday to fix up that scavenger sale? We could make it a double date. What? You heard what I said. That's no place to take a girl on a date, helping to fix up the scavenger sale, is it? Why not? On a first date? First date? Yeah. Well, Kay's a swell girl. I was gonna... Kay's a swell girl. See? You don't know anything about Kay, Nick. You don't know that Kay has probably been sneaking behind the, uh... The gymnasium with Jeff there. As you think she's a swell girl, Jeff likely knows better. But not new, not you, Nick. Because you're a simp, Nick. That's why. Let's continue. I was gonna I was thinking of calling her. Maybe ask her to the show Friday. Good picture. Wagon train. Well, hurry up and call her and let's get going. I still have to get my things yet. Call her now? Sure. You know the number, don't you? Okay. Look how nervous Nick is, see? Because Nick, he puts the pussy on a pedal stool. Jeff doesn't care. Jeff's ruthless. Jeff, in a few more years, is going to be like the head of his fraternity. Like, if this is the origins of simping by Nick, Jeff's going to be, like, the origins of, like, date raping. But poor Nick, he's so unsuspecting. He's, like, all nervous. This was me when I was young. This is still me now. Let's continue. What if she says no? Hello? Oh, hello, Kay. This is Nick Baxter. Oh, hello, Nick. How are you? Fine, thanks. Look at that. Oh, hello, Nick. How are you? Like, I've been waiting for you to simp for me. What took you so long? Finally, you're simping, just like I knew you would. Yeah, give me a break. Let's continue. Thanks. Say, Kay, next Friday, would you like to see Wagon Train at the movies? Oh, I'm sorry, Nick. I suppose you've got your mind made up to see it? You've seen it? She's already seen it. Well, ask her about the scavengers. Jeff knows she's already seen it. Because Jeff probably took her there, but not to simp. He was probably getting some finger bang action going on with the Wagon Train. See, Jeff's duplicitous. You could see it in his Eddie Haskell looking eyes. Jeff knows. Jeff's already had K, dude. You just don't know it. Let's continue. 
Go ahead. Uh, Kay, you wouldn't want to help get the scavenger sale ready at the community center, would you? Oh, I've been hearing about that. Yes, I'd like to very much. You would? <laughs> All right. I'll call for you then. About seven. Bye. I sure didn't think she'd go to a place like that for a date. Where's my racket? Oh, ready? You know, you better think some more, fellow, about what to do on a date. Do you think she'll have a good time? What do you suppose I'll have to do? You know who I'll tell? <laughs> Now, you may not have thought of this sort of thing as a place to take a date, but it looks like it could be fun. A group doing things together. Pretty good idea for a first date. Plenty to do, plenty of people to talk to. But let's see if Nick and Kay are enjoying it. No amount of us can make this thing look any older. Boy, that is an old timer. Hey, Nick, can you help me put this sign up? Oh, sure. Nick, can you help me put this sign up? You're so masculine. Oh, sure, Kay. Whatever you want. Notice they had him, like, kneeling in front of her. The, you know, the subliminal visual there. He was lower than she is. No. Oh, oh Nick, can you do this for me? I'm so helpless. Please? Why, well, sure, Kay. I could hang this. The origins of simping, guys. It starts off insidious. 1950. Now we have... The situation we're in now. You have guys like Z just simping all over the place. Simping for Christy Lee dolls. She's like, oh, Z. <laughs> You're so intelligent. Well-spoken and funny. <laughs> Let's continue. Unbelievable. I can't quite reach that far. How's this? That's about right. Thanks. Say, Kay, are you really having a good time? Uh, hey, Kay, are you really having a good time? Notice how he's so concerned about her good time. It's really, he doesn't, he's not concerned about himself. Hey, are you having a good time there, Nick? Doesn't look like it. Looks like you're nervous and awkward. You're sweating bullets. You're spending here, you're spending your time and energy with Kay. But what are you doing for yourself, Nick? You got your whole life ahead of you, Nick. You gotta do stuff, man. This world is unrelenting. It's cruel, Nick. You're gonna have to do stuff with your life. You're gonna have to build. You're gonna have to earn. That takes time. Energy, attention, resources, Nick. But no, you're spending your time at the stupid, you know, whatever this is, this ruck sale or whatever it's called, with Kay. What are you doing? You should be making money. You should be learning. You should be growing, building yourself as a man. But no, you're here simping. Wasting your time and energy. Nick's the original simp. Let's continue. I am. I'm glad you thought of coming here. So am I. It, I mean, yes, it was a good idea. Okay. How about helping with refreshments for the gang? All right. See you later. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, oh, sure. Got any more tacks? Uh, I think they're over there by the door. 
And Jeff knows he's a simp. He's looking at him like you see his face right there. He's just like fucking simp. He knows. Because like I said, Jeff's already beaten the brakes off K. Jeff's already been balls deep in K. That's the secret here, guys. They weren't telling you this in a stupid video. He's already done with K. He's on to this new broad. Yeah, exactly. Let's continue. Special K is laughing because she knows. She fucking knows. God, it's sad. And I'm, this, is, this is heartbreaking for me. Because I know what a simp I've been throughout my whole life. I know what simping has done to me. It's led me here with you guys. This is tough. Right, let's continue. Good. Got young men, please pay attention. Christos, are you watching this, Christos? My young listeners, pineal power, are you paying attention here? I'm doing this for you guys. All right, let's continue. Yes, it was a good idea to come here. How does Jeff get ideas like that? Hey, what's this? Maybe this is where Jeff gets ideas. A list of coming activities. A bike trip. That could be a lot of fun. A chance to do things with a group to get acquainted. It does look like a good time if your partner likes it. Right, so now they went to the rummage sale to the bike trip. More time and energy that our simp friend Nick has to put in. Just to try to get a sniff for that lovely K. Like I said, meanwhile... She's already getting worked out, worked in, turned in and turned out by like half the basketball team. Nick doesn't know that. Jeff knows it, though. And Jeff, his supposed friend, is all too willing to let, let Nick just fall into his simp-like behaviors, ruining his life forever. Nobody cares about Nick. See, that's the secret, Nick. Nobody really gives a fuck about you. They don't, Nick. Z gives a fuck about you. Let's continue. Would Kay enjoy a bike trip? Or a weenie roast? Oh, a weenie roast. Look how they put it in there. That's, they're laughing at you. Weenie roast. Because Nick's weenies get roasted, everybody. Weenie roast. We're watching Nick get his weenie roasted right here in front of us. Yeah, let's continue. Another group date. A chance to learn the give and take of working and playing together. More time and not energy. Much needed, not much expense. And that can be important. Not much expense? Well, you think Kay's paying for those weenies? You think Kay's paying for those buns? No. There's always an expense. Kay's not paying for the weenies. Nick's paying for the weenies. Let's get it straight. Continue. The important could be a fine day if Kay would like it. Wonder if she'd like to go to a baseball game. Oh, so now another date. date Was this the fourth date? You had the uh, rummage sale, then the bike ride, then the weenie roast, now the baseball game. Have you gotten the first base yet, Nick? Has she let you get a little whiff? Did she let you check the oil, maybe? Probably not. You probably haven't felt the boobies. Now it's your fourth date. More time and energy. Oh, it's a baseball game. It's a cheap date. What? The tickets don't cost money? You're not going to have to feed her at the game? Like I said, Kay's not reaching into that little purse of hers. It's all you, Nick. Yeah. Nick's paying for everything. Jeff's not paying for your date, Nick. Jeff's laughing at you. Jeff's not going on all these dates. Jeff's got it locked down. Like with multiple bitches. But no, Nick, you're the simp. Now you're on your fourth date. How's it going for you, Nick? Let's continue. If it's not too involved, 
one you can carry through comfortably. And there are all sorts of other sports events. Inexpensive dates, most of them. Right. Inexpensive, Swimming sure. meets, for example. Oh, fifth date? You can find many good ideas for dates. Sixth date? Your sixth date? How many dates? Because here's the thing, guys. Kay's not just going on dates with Nick. She's going on dates with Bobby. Dates with Joe. But Nick, he's spending all his time and energy on Kay, all his money. Because why Kay's busy going on all these dates? Nick's got to go to work because he's got to pay for all these dates with Kay. So Kay's got Nick and Bobby and Joe and Alex. And hey, it's 1950s, but maybe Tyrone even. Who knows? But here's the point. As Kay's just going on in these dates because she needs to find the right man. You paying attention, Christy Lee dolls on Bumble? Christy Lee's going on date after date after date to find the right man. Just like Kay. But poor Nick. Nick's just got Kay and his job that he's working to pay for all these dates with Kay. Let's continue, guys. Please, let's continue. Dates that give you a good chance to get acquainted. And dates that you don't have to worry too much about in advance. It was a Look, that's the face of a simp. Everybody look at Nick's face right there. You see the dreamy look in his eyes? Because he's dreaming of a future with Kay. Nick's seeing white picket fences. He's seeing vacations, picnics. He's seeing the family, little ones. He's seeing himself coming home from work through the white picket fence as Kay comes out to greet him. And she has dinner ready on the table. And his beautiful 2.3 children, and his beautiful suburban lifestyle. That's what Nick's seeing. What Nick is not seeing is the inevitable divorce. What Nick is not seeing is a new man living in his home, raising his children for him, as Nick pays for it through alimony and child support. That's what Nick doesn't see. Pay attention, folks. You're staring right into the face of the original simp, Nick. Let's continue. It's a good deal coming here tonight. Double dating with Jeff and Phyllis. When all four are good friends and enjoy the same things, double dates can be lots of fun. Or you can ask Kay to go on dates with you alone if you plan for what she enjoys. Guess what, guys? Women don't really enjoy much. They're actually very simple and basic. They don't really know what they want. So is this simp propaganda is going to say... Try to figure out what she enjoys. Don't worry about what you enjoy, Nick. That's inconsequential. What you really want doesn't matter in life, Nick. It's what she wants. Please, just place the pussy on the pedestal. And it'll all work out for you, Nick. Try to make Kay happy, Nick. Hey, guys, here's a little secret. You can't make women happy. They're never really happy. Ever. Let's continue, please. Hey, you loafer. What are you doing over there? Be right there. Fine thing. As soon as Kay isn't around to supervise, you go off on a vacation. You know, Maestro, I don't think your date ideas are so original. What? About what to do on a date, I mean. But what I'd like to know is... How can you figure out what a girl would like to do? A certain girl, I mean. Well, you might ask her. Oh, Jeff knows what Kay likes to do. He didn't have to ask her. Jeff knows. Yeah, Nick's looking for you. Is he good company? Oh, that's him? No, he seems so quiet. We get along all right. He's got a good sense of humor, and we haven't run out of things to say yet. He's kind of cute. You gonna date him again? I don't know. Besides, he hasn't asked you. George, get out of there. I'm hungry. Oh, now here comes George. 
course, right on cue. Where'd George come from? Oh, Kay knows George. So Kay knows George and Jeff and Nick. Oh, yeah. Let's continue. If you want to do something, take the Cokes out there. Okay, come on, hurry up. All set? I think so. Come and get it, everybody. Come on, we eat. Let's go. Eat up your own rib. Hurry up. Let's see. Hi, stranger. I decided to come out of hiding. Say, this looks good. You make the sandwiches? Flattery is just a joke. Where should we go? How about over here? Oh, fine. Your table, madame. Thank you, sir. <laughs> this is fun, isn't it? Yeah. You're sure you like to do things like this? Sure. Ah. Uh. You sure you like to do things like this, Kay? Sure. Sure, Nick. Of course. I thought all girls wanted fellas to take them to fancy places, spend lots of money. Not this girl. They all say that. Not this girl. Christy Lee. Not me. <laughs> blink, blink. Not me. I'm not like all the other girls. I'm different. Yeah. Okay. I'm not like those other girls. I don't like those big fancy dates. Just as long as you, you know, you're simping for me. I mean, there's plenty of guys taking me on those big fancy dates. You could simp like, you know, low level simping for me. I got plenty of high level simps. Let's continue. You know, I sort of like things like this, too. <laughs> you won't laugh. I like to go on bicycle trips, too. Uh, Do you? And miniature golf. You're not bad. Yeah, and weenie rolls and square dancing. <laughs> and baseball games and tappy pole. I think they're swell. Say, you like to do lots of things, don't you? Of course, she likes to do lots of things where she doesn't have to pay for anything, where you're worshipping the ground she walks on. Of course, who wouldn't, Nick? Who wouldn't? Let's continue. Say, Kay, next Friday there's going to be a weenie roast, or there will be a bowling party if you'd rather do that, or, or we could go to the band concert... I'd enjoy going to the weenie roast very much. Unless you'd rather go bowling. No, I'd rather go to the weenie roast. If Don't think they put the weenie roast in there by accident, guys. They're laughing at you. They're laughing because poor Nick is getting his weenie roasted right in front of us. Guys, do you think Nick is going to make her hot and butter? Do you think Nick is going to get her juices going? No, it's not Nick. Sorry, Nick, because after you bring her to the weenie roast and you maybe peck her on the cheek and kiss her goodbye for the night and you're going to go home and you're going to dream of your white picket friends with Kay. She's going to go home. She's going to pick up the telephone and she's going to dial somebody who's not you, Nick. And he's going to creep, creep, creep on over. He's going to sneak in her upstairs bedroom window. And he's going to take care of business, Nick. So as you got your weenie roasted, well, he's going to be using his weenie for something you could probably only fantasize about, Nick. So sad. So sad. If Jeff goes with Phyllis, we could double date with them. Hey, Nick, hey, come on, we're going to break open the ice cream. Okay, be right there. Is it all right then, on Friday? Yes, Nick, it's a date. Yes, there are lots of things to do on dates. If you know how to look for them, if you plan them with the other person in mind, and if you really try to make sure each date's a good time. If you do these things, 
You'll know what to do on your day. The end. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. The origins of simping brought to you by your friendly Tavistockian social engineering control group. That's right, all you simps out there. Did you learn something? Christos, did you pay attention? You fucking simp. Maybe y'all learned something from that. I did. I did. Yeah, Benton. We're trying to kill the inner simp. Benton's got it right. You have to kill the inner simp. It's a journey. Yeti Life was paying attention. He learned something. At least somebody was. It was serious, D'Angelo. That was a lesson. No longer will we simp. Get it out. Just get it out of your system, everybody. And again, I'm going to go back to Christy Lee Dolls, who's pro-simping. Oh, it ben simping benefits you women when you're like in your 20s and early 30s. Of course you're going to be pro-simping. But as you know, as Mother Nature starts to bless you less and less each day and Father Time starts to creep on in and do what he does, you'll realize, lady, ladies, that maybe simping wasn't such a good thing for you. Because if you, as you spent your prime reproductive years allowing idiots like Nick and myself to simp for you as each egg was dropping away, dripping slowly one by one out of your ovaries as you wasted that short window you have to find a suitable mate you will realize the perils of simping as you're left with only those fucking simps as your option. And then you say, where are all the good men? Well, there was plenty of good guys, but they were simping for you. And now, as you want a quote-unquote real man to come in and save you from the wreck that is your life, after you have two illegitimate children... And maybe two or three divorces under your belt. You're going to want a guy to come in and be the man. But there are no men left because they're either simps or players. Polar opposites. And there's no actual men to support you. And thus you have the situation we have today. Social chaos.